Hello everybody and welcome to day 12 and 13. Now yesterday I didn't upload a video because of the mammoth task that this has taken me. It took me ages just to do the background of this. Um, so I'm going to show you this before I show you the background. This is the marvellous one that we did on the day 11. And just take this auto zoom off again. Um, this is what we did on day 11 and this was day 12 and day 13 but then I thought how would the loop mashed up together so hence why instead of me doing one on one day and one on the other I have put them all on one background and I'm going to show you in real time putting it on a background in a colouring book uh, now this is why I've done two days because it may take longer than a normal video it may take over an hour and a half we'll just have to see um, you can always speed through I will link the, the colours that I've used so you can speed through it if you don't want to hear me talking that's perfectly fine but I have pre-coloured most of it so we've got one big section left to do in the middle but this is the light and this is the dark iridescent so this is more like your oil slick uh type of liquid type of iridescent and then this is like your pastel type of iridescent so i found the perfect picture in mythomorphia to color this in and when i saw it i was like yes this is the one it's going in where is it gone there so this is what i'm creating so we've got this side is the dark and this side is the light. Sorry about that, just have to turn my phone off. It's like everyone's psychic when I start recording and starts messaging. <laughs> so what I'm going to do with you, we're going to be leaving the moon as a moon and I'm going to finish the rest of this hour and I'm going to intertwine the two. So it is quite a challenge to do, but once you find the method in which I've found, it's a lot easier once you have kind of know how. But... I just thought how amazing would this be so it's like battle of the light and dark iridescent <laughs> um so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you first i'm going to do one side so i'm not confusing you i'm not going to do a bit of this and a bit of that because it will it's confusing enough so what i'm going to do i'm going to do the dark side because this takes a lot longer uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to make some come to this side but then some of this is going to come into this side so it's going to mix in the middle that's my attempt. We're going to see if that works. <laughs> now, to help me out with this, I took some real-time photos. So you've got the likes of this kind of one and then this kind of one. So that's what I use, and I have it as my kind of guide so i've got a vision but once you start using your guide you just start forgetting it after a bit because then you just go off on your own so what i do these are all the colors so i'm going to separate them into my lights first um, and then all that's left on this side for me is the darks and that's just so i know what colours I'm getting from where. So my darks are going on this side and my lights are going on this side. I'll put them on the they kind of don't roll off on my like back. So for this dark iridescent we're using Black Widow pencils a mixture some are the Monarch as well. So we've got Everglade, Sunburst, Pumpkin, Blood Diamond, Lime Fruit, Toxic Green, Forget Me Not, Galaxy Blue, Plum Plodding, Deep Purple and Black Widow. That's to create the black. Okay, so how I did this the other day, I just sit there and I get my pencils up. So I want, the blue shouldn't be in that side, it should be in this light one. 
and I found by kind of just starting off with my blue first and kind of putting them colours in where I want them I felt that was a bit easier so I'm going to come in a little bit closer I don't want to go too close because I need you to see the whole picture so this is forget-me-not and we're just going to glide around don't worry about being neat at this point there's no need to be I'm going to put in all the light colours in first so then I'm going to go in with the lighter purple which is virtually our pink but there's going to be purple in with it as well when we put the darker colours in you'll see in a second why I do it like this and it's just a case of creating a pattern whatever pattern you feel like you want to make I wish these pictures would just stay on I'm going to bring this down and curve it in here okay and then I'm going to come in this side with the light yellow which is sunburst and that pink I've just used yeah I said plum pudding didn't I kind of following its leg as though its legs made the spill of colour <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to take our orange, blend that in. Which is pumpkin, it's not just orange, it's pumpkin. We're going to have green on this side join it into the an everglade joining on this side then i'm going to come in with now is the dark colors so you run along so this is a galaxy blue you do need to keep a sharp pencil and you run along the edge and it's about the edges being defined so don't worry about blending at this point and if this comes out good then i'll be well impressed so keeping this, this is where I'm blending now, out from the line. Sorry if my stand is very wobbly at the minute. So then come back with, did it fall on? Forget me not and just blend that out a bit. And it just all starts coming together. Don't worry about that yellow because it's going to create its own colour anyway. And then next up I want um, deep purple. I'm going to come this side of the blue. Pressing down quite hard. Because this technique, believe it or not, you do not want to spend hours layering it up. Because, I mean, you can, but it will take you a long time. But this is what 
it's took me ages just to do it took me all day just to do them to them sections i've done i was like what this is taking forever so i didn't end up doing the video yesterday because it was just it took too long to do this and i really 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 wanted to do it so i thought if i sacrifice the day and add it in today and the result of it looks amazing then job done isn't it so I'll blend that out again. And you're kind of doing each piece at a time. And don't do too much at once. Because you can lose your pattern. So then I'm coming in with Blood Diamond. Pull that down into there. I'm going to elongate that bit. And then we're going to do a line along here. And round right this side. And kind of blend it into the middle. And bring the orange back. Deepen that orange up. And then what I'm going to do is get midnight. And I need to have these blacks whether you use black widow or midnight it's up, entirely up to you so i'm going to run a line of black down the center of these and then it's going to come up the center of this one and like it's gathered here in a black pool and then i want to work it out here as well Just like that and then pull this out here only ever so slightly i'm using a light touch here and not and then bring back blood diamond and just blend back into that black You can do it with any pencils you've got. You don't have to use Black Widow. I just like blending Black Widows. So then I'm going to bring the black through here as well. And then bring that shadow right here a bit. And then come out this way it doesn't matter where you put your black because your black can go anywhere it wants just so long as you make it look like it's flowing okay put some pink in here and have some yellow at the bottom of it Okay, so then this pink, I want to travel up here. So I'm just going to get the pink again. And I'm just going to then bring it over here. Doesn't matter where it goes. You can make it go wherever it wants to go. And 
and this bit I'm going to take, let's have a see. I'm going to take Everglade around here. And then I'm going to make it come really thin down there. It's just about being creative in your mind. And if you can't get that creativity to flow in your mind, just get a reference photo and work like this. Honestly, you can't get easier if you than working with um a reference picture. Sunburst. And then I'm gonna put a whole of like a big circle of sunburst here. Because we're in a wider open space now. I need these to loop wider. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put Everglade on the other side of it. And notice I'm not blending them in to each other. I need to put a bit of sunburst here. And then we'll go into pumpkin. I'm going to fill the middle in with pumpkin. And if you get so far in, you're doing it on a big um, page like this. Use some of the ones that you've already done. So I'm going to recreate this one here. here. So this one I am going to blend in slightly. But I don't want it to blend in totally, but just soften the edge off more than blending it in. And then I'm going to come in with Blood Diamond. It's going to flow in the middle. And then I'm going to get Midnight. I'm going to come up this section here. And that's going to flow into the middle of here. I'm going to make that come down the edge of here. And then... I'm going to slightly, with light pressure, shade in that at the top. I really don't know what's going on with my light there. It's having a nice little flicker. And that's going to come round here. And I'm going to slowly fade that into there. So it's kind of joined. Just like that. Bring this section out here right up to the moon and then i'm going to bring the black here as well and so it's come round into this section I'm also going to get a very fine point now, so a very sharp point on my pencil. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring lines of it down here, following the curve of what we've done. I'm going to bring slight lines, more like a wavy line here. And then the same here. 
this is kind of where just the black lava or whatever you would call it is flowing through the colours. And just shared each corner in of them. Quite time consuming this, so obviously I'm doing a lot bigger sections here to speed the time up. But you kind of like you get this in iridescence where they all start merging into each other. Sure, our line's quite black. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with the deep purple. And I'm going to come in the corners with the deep purple on this section. But when you do your own design, this is where um, you'll get your own thing going on. Put some blue in with this. And then I want to darken some of that earlier up so let's see I'm going to come in down here I'm just hoping I don't record this and then spoil it <laughs> I'm going to add in some forget me not here. And there. And then I'm going to add in some um, galaxy blue just down at the bottom. I'm going to sharpen this up because I want that edge around the black to be really deep blue. There we go. And that blue to just travel along there. All I'm thinking in my mind is when I'm doing it is oil slick. And what would that look like on the floor? <laughs> okay. So then now I want a black section coming up here. So let me get midnight. And then I'm going to do a full round like shape like that. I'm going to fill it in. Quite light at first. And then soften that edge off. And then I'm going to come in with deep purple and blend that into the end. And then go back and darken up the black. This is Black Widow. I just like how black the Black Widow pencil goes. I'm 
and then soften off as I get to the edge for that blend. We'll deepen that up. And then I'm going to go over the top with Galaxy Blue. Because I want it more of a bluer purple. Just in this section here. And then I bring out that purple again, the deep purple, just go over the top slightly. And then into my uh, pink, where have you gone, which is plum pudding. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring a line of plum pudding here. Quite sharp, and I'm then going to bring that height and that can come down here. And Galaxy Blue and have a line down here as well. And then we're going to come in with Blood Diamond. And that's going to sit straight in front of this one. not too worried about them blending at this point because we're just moving the colours at the minute and then into the orange very thin line here again what we're aiming for is like a, a layer of a tiny rainbow here and then we can fan that out then into our yellow which is sunburst let me just sharpen this one actually it's a bit blunt i'm gonna have a nice little yellow line here we're going to not go out as wide now. And then into our wallet. It's the first time I've used this so far. Which is lime fruit. And then into Everglade. I'll just uh, deepen this up. See, it can be any shape. Don't even worry about it not being the same shape. You want as much randomness as possible. We're going to widen this out. Then I'm going to come back with Forget Me Not. And 
and then a small line of galaxy blue. Nice deep line. Then I am going to blend that into that um, forget me not. And then where's my deep purple gone? It keeps disappearing. <laughs> and then a nice line. Let's just do hands up. The purple along here. Now here I'm going to think about it merging with the other colour because that's the biggest piece I've ever done in the in this section. So let's have a see. If I bring in midnight. And just darken off the edge of that there. I want to think about merging the colours now. Go back with deep purple. Let's have a see. Because I need it to kind of swirl into, say, I'll bring a line over here and a line onto this side and that's where it'll merge in to this side. So let's put this out here. So our, rain, our light iridescent side can come up and round into there. So let me make this into a point here. Make a nice little like swirly, swirly area. And I'll fill that in with colour. this is going to be this side coming round that's that side coming round and then we'll have that coming into the so I want another it starts getting confusing now um, so we'll make that come round in a circle of the iridescent light and then I want some of my dark to come round like a wave they're going to come round like that yes I think that will look good if I make this thinner here go thinner into there and that can come off into a point so I've shaded the ones in the corners that I know I want to be this iridescent colour so then I want so that's going to be iridescent so I want some coming off here and I want it to travel into this side again maybe up into a point there 
So I'll bring that back round here. And that's kind of how I want that to come across there. I'm going to fill them sections in now. So I'm going to start this side with deep purple. Into there. And just here in the corners. <clears throat> and I'm going to take all the colours now in this bit. So then we've got plum pudding. And then um, Galaxy Blue. Coming into Forget Me Not. And then I want Everglade. Into Sunburst. And then the very middle is going to be orange. I'll blend that out. And then this one, we're going to have blue, so galaxy blue. Going into Forget Me Not. I'm pressing on hard here. Into, where's my green? Here he is, which is toxic green. No blooper. <laughs> I bet I can't rub these out. That's the wrong colour. That's the wrong side. <laughs> well, don't worry because I can fix that with that. I want to just this is why I wanted to keep the bloopers in. So you know you can correct it. I'll fix the lines where I've rubbed out. I can't believe I did that. I actually faded the um, lines in so I knew which was going where. <laughs> so this bit should have been galaxy blue. And then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start elongating the lines at the side. So it's kind of like overlapping the next colour. into the green and then the green kind of overlaps and elongates down so you want it to look like the colour stretching then the next colour is I've done it again <laughs> right what we're going to do I'm going to make this come down here and swirl into a point. It's not going to look the same, but I can't believe I've just refilled it in with red coloured. But, hey yeah, well, it's going to be really confusing now. Uh, I lost a light green in the process. Mm. 
I'm sure I have a, yeah, lime fruit. Where has it gone? Ah, there you are. <laughs> Hiding. Right, so this wasn't meant to be here, but for some reason I keep going over that spot, so... It must be meant to be. Into sunburst. So sunburst is going to come down like this. We're working in the page bit now. So we're going to bring this longer. Into that point there. Stretch that orange in. And then Blood Diamond will finish the corner off. It's really hard in these corner bits, in the centre of the book. So just work with it however you can. Okay, and then this one is going to be deep purple. Either side. Into pink, which is plum pudding and then I'm going to take that straight into Everglade and then sunburst in the middle Okay, so then this one I'm going to make Blood Diamond this side, coming from the dark and I'm going to take this down here like I said, it's, it's not going to be the easiest video but it will be gorgeous when it's done but it may be a long video i may have to speed it up i don't know yet into the uh pumpkin and i'm going to bring pumpkin down like this And then I'm going to come into with Starburst. Down there. And then Everglade on this side. There we go. I'm going to come back in with Midnight and just deepen up them corners okay, so what we're going to do with this one I'm going to turn the page a little bit and I'm going to start with Sunburst We'll make it come to a point in the middle. I'm going to go in with Everglade. And make this look like a nice little mound. the top of here I'm just going to turn the book a little bit I'm going to make the line 
sort of say, really thin here. And then I'm going to bring it outwards and stretch it out. Okay. and then I'm going to go to galaxy blue and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to stretch this corner right here I'm going to make it a nice line thin line around the top And then bring it wider towards the bottom again. Just trying to think of it like, you know, if you ever did pouring and you watch it when you pour paint in and it'll spread out further on one side and it'll all clumber up in another side. That's what I'm creating here. So plum pudding. Wider here. I should, if I do it right, have enough space for the purple to go up the top. And then deep purple. We've got just enough room to finish off around the edge here. And then in the middle of that circle, I'm going to bring all the colours together. I'm going to add the orange in the middle. And so the last colour we poured in was the blood diamond. Come back in with sunburst and just brighten that yellow up a bit and then blood diamond in the middle it's just like doing hundreds of rainbows And then I'll have my um, midnight. I'm just going to add the black into here because of that rubbed out before. And I'm just going to come in between here. And just shadow off this corner. This just helps it merge into the blacker areas and make it look like it is just flowing in between. Um, so I'm leaving all that. That's going to be this colour that's coming to here. And that along the bottom. Just colour that bit in black here. So that's ready for the other side to come into that. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get my black and I'm going to bring a point round here. And I want to use that. To where this other side is going to come right up into this one. I'm going to merge that into the like that. And 
like so and then this side's going to come round and make that come round to there and turn that right in there Yeah, that can have a flat bit in the middle. So that's going to come round there. Let's see how we can take this to into there. And our iridescent is going to come round here. I'm going to make this more like a bubbly shape. That can end in there. So that's going to be black as well. Because that's going to come through there. That is. And then we're going to have this purple coming through here. Up into here. So I'm going to make this come up into there like that. And that will be our last of our colours on this side. So while I fill these sections in here, I'm going to speed this part of the video up just so um, for ease of watching, should I say. So the colours that you know by now are going in rainbow order. So if you get these out, it's just a dark blue, a light blue, a dark green, a light green, a yellow, an orange, a red, a light purpley pink and a purple for these ones but like i said if we're coloring down you will be able to see exactly what color i'm using so i'm going to speed this up now so you won't hear from me i'm just going to be going like this so i'll be back shortly
Okay, so there you have um, the dark side done. It's like dark side of the moon. Let me just get the zoom to work. It's not, it doesn't want to work. that's the dark side done so now i'm going to do this side and show you how to do this side is a lot simpler that is probably the harder side hence why i did it first <laughs> so let's get rid of these I need to make sure i've got my food used my light Two purples and what is the what are you oh nearly blue for the good dog gear so let's move the one dog is away okay so for this side we're using bliss bubblegum ice cream blue horizon Blue Heaven, Grape and Tulip. Okay, there's not half as many. So we're going to go on to this side. And we are going to do our patterns with the blue. You're just going to be really random. The harder part of this side is the black. And fitting the black in in the right places. This, you don't need to. You just go for it in whatever pattern you see fit. So I'm going to continue this blue on here and I'm kind of just going to come round, hit the top of that, come down again, come round here, maybe have another blue line come in there. And this is our lightest blue which is blue heaven. It doesn't matter what shape you take, so long as you go everywhere with it. So this is coming into here, so we'll just stop that one there. And I'll bring some more blue in here. Because the rest of your colours will sort that out. We're working with all our light colours for now. So our lightest pink is bliss. And I'm going to come the outer side with this one and follow that blue line around. And again, I'm pressing on with hard pressure. Because I don't want to have to keep layering up. But this one I found to easy a lot easier to do than um, the dark iridescent. I just hope, I want to get this video done in two hours, obviously, and then I speed up the parts. I won't need to speed up this part because it won't take me as long to do. Okay, so I'm going to take the pink on this side of this one and the pink on this side of here. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with um, great tulip. And I'm going to come in everywhere on the other side. It's just doing a boatload of wiggly lines, basically, in squirly whirly sections. <laughs> it's more like liquid iridescent. Um, I am going to put finish it with some glitter, with a clear glitter pen, uh, just to give it. 
a bit of a sparkle because iridescent sparkles as much as it shines. I'm going to fill all that area in there. And then oh, this area. And then purple above here. And then I'm going to do a purple above this one. But not too much because I want to go in. I hate the centres of these pages. Okay, and then that needs to come this side. Okay, and then. And this is where we stand back and I'll look at it and I'll think, right, well, I'll do. This is Bliss uh, Ice Cream. I would really, really like like peachy colour. So the whole of that section and the whole of that section can be that peach. And the same with that section and that section. But then we've got big areas. So I'm going to put part of it in with peach. And then I'm going to get my blue um, heaven. And this bit will be blue. And then I think I'm going to bring blue heaven back in here. Make that a big blue section there. And then we can then add tulip to this side, which will continue this round here. And then up here. you're kind of just forming your pattern then from that first line that you've put in uh, so pink will be above that so carry on going round here with the tulip and we'll have the light ice cream and then we'll have a bit of the purple veering off this way and then a bit of the blue this way and then the ice cream can come through here and then we'll continue this purple line along here back on itself and the peach or ice cream can travel into there and then we need bliss here and be a big section there of bliss and that side and then this side here and then ice cream can go in that corner and blue can go in this corner and then a bit here a bit of pink okay so then let me put some more blue here like a double didn't see that bit there and then pink and then ice cream and then that's the lighter colors done for this section you can see if you wanted to leave it just like that you could as a really 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 light pastel but then i'm going to brighten it up so i'm going to get the blue and normally on my first one on this paper i only used blue horizon and blue heaven but on the kirby's books i'm having to use an even darker blue because for some reason it went really light on his paper so i've got navy blue and i'm going to run along this line exactly what we did on the other ones up into here and slightly blend it out can you see what i'm doing there everyone is patiently waiting for this 
day 12 and 13 um and i do apologize but because of the size of it and how beautiful it is um i really wanted it to be on an actual page so slightly putting a little blend line in it and then coming up It looks really messy and then it just comes together gorgeously. But this iridescent has very clean edges. So, or when you look at pictures of iridescent, it does. So I'd say that this is the most time consuming part now. The rest is pretty quick and I always tend to put the blue against the purple because when you put the purple line at the back of this one it just sets it off even better let me tell you my hand is killing me because <laughs> this has been definitely a work of labor it's been hard on my hand but that's my choice i could have done it on a little square but i just thought this would look much better because sometimes you'll see it on a square and go hmm, i'm not attempting that but when you see it on a page, and especially when you find a page that will really work on well, then I'm just going to do these a neutral grey colour, both the horses, keep them like a white really. And same with the clouds. Um, I'll probably do the clouds like a... either a darker grey than the horse or vice versa. I don't know yet. So then next it's blue horizon and then i'll just pick up where i left off and just pull that bit out and follow that line round and just blend that darker blue into that it's later tonight this video because i've had to shave my puppy today because for some reason he keeps chewing his back legs and matting his fur and then i brush it then he mats it then i brush it out then he mats it again and then i brush it out and then he mats it again and he was just sitting there nibbling away at it and it's honestly he's driving me up the wall um so i shaved them all short he's meant to have fluffy legs and now he's got short legs And yes, lockdown, the very first lockdown, maybe I had to start shaving my own dogs because everywhere was shut. So I watched some videos on how to cut schnauzers. And I do a pretty good job if I do say so myself. Okay, so then these lot have missed down here. And for a Kirby background, this has been so much fun. Colour that. There we go. Oh, down here. But look how quick you can get that whole section done. That's just one big section done and then you'll do another big section and then the next section and then that's it. It's a lot quicker this than the other one. So if you want to do a quicker version, I'd suggest you do the lighter version like this that doesn't include the black. And 
and just do some blue that I've missed out there. And there with blue. I hate the corners of them books. Just makes you work messy and it drives me potty. Like my work doesn't look how I want it to look in that area, but it's fine. We don't stress about things like that. But last night I literally had to soak my hands in cold water because my hands were going were pounding. I mean I don't know if it's something to do with some medication that I'm on, I don't know. Okay, next up is the um purple line. So I'll run grape along here. This one I don't I won't be using three because the purple goes down really nice and dark enough for what I want. So I'm going to do each section and then just blend it in to that colour I've laid down. I didn't know I'd left a big gap there though. <laughs> Along the back of here. But you can see it's building now. You can see it changing into that iridescent look that we're after. A deeper colour. Okay, I need to sharpen it here because I've got a section directly in front of it that's purple and I'm going to make, give this a double line. And blend it out. And then I'm going to give it a line on this side. And blend it out. And the same with here. And just leave the middle section. And then get your lip and just go over your centre bit there. And then uh, ice cream, where is it from? Bring that back and fill it in. some parts of it you might think oh no don't like it but it's fine if you don't like it just move on from it because overall it will look good don't do the picture based on what you see from the beginning just keep going and look at it at what you've achieved at the end and i would love to see um other people attempts at this so i've really enjoyed it but i think from now on because my children are on homeschooling my videos will be uploaded more at night time rather than the daytime. Purely because I'm going to be spending all my days homeschooling the kids. Okay, I just want to blend that out into that ice cream with that pink ice cream because it just doesn't look like there's much there. Okay, and then keep slamming my pencils down. Have you noticed? <laughs> it's not good.
Blend that out. And we'll do this in places. Um, where I'll fade it out on both sides. I think my head keeps popping in view, so do excuse my head if it does. And tulip. I just think sometimes with like colouring and art you just find your niche in places of things and me bubbles and stuff like this I just love it and I could sit all day and do it honestly I could so for me I enjoy it obviously it's not going to be for everybody because not everybody would want to sit and do something what takes a really long time but obviously if you do it's really rewarding okay I just need to sharp my pencil again because my point is just not quite sharp enough whoops Breaker of tips, shellate, breaker of tips, slayer of names, and gob on legs. <laughs> I'd say that and it doesn't stop me breaking them. <laughs> okay, and then blend into that. Like I said, this will be the most time consuming part of it. Okay, then grab Tulip and just blend that out to that next line. Don't worry if your blend is not perfect. You don't need to be perfect in this technique purely because when you look at iridescence, a lot of it, the lines are very noticeably different from each colour. So don't worry if... Um, if you think oh, that's not blended the best I mean I'll pull take that right in and you can see it's not blended the world's best blend in the world so it does not have to be perfect so all this section with ice cream in the middle of here so I'll blend that purple into that Oh, wrong purple, wrong pencil, should I say, and then along here, blend it in. Move them out of the way. We've used that for the purple now. We need our pink. So we've got two different colours here watermelon and bubblegum. So I'm going to go around all the edge with watermelon first. And again, on my original one, I didn't need to use watermelon. So I don't think this is wrote down. Um, purely because I didn't need it but in this book I did because it didn't pop enough 
with just the other colour so I needed to add this to it. So coming up to this horrible section which is really annoying me because it's making my work look horrible. I'll just ignore that bit, that section. And before I move on, I will just do this section here. I don't know if there'll be another one that I like as much as this because I've like I've, some have said oh, this is my new favourite, I love it, and then I've done this and I'm like, this is my favourite now. <laughs> Uh, let's see what are we up to here so coming down into this part and then back up and just keep your pencil rotating and sharp and just blend that line out around here I mean do try and keep your lines neat though even though you, I've said don't worry too much about your blend just make sure that your, your line that you're edging it with is nice and striking and bright Because it's important that that part stays nice. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with bubble gum and go back to the start where we started and blend that watermelon's line out. And then once we've blended that out, pick um, bliss back up and then blend them out into ice cream now. And there we go. And that first big massive section done. And there is a bit here that I missed out. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to add some pink here. It's going to come round into there. I'm going to add blue. And then we'll go back with the tulip, finish that section off with that. So watermelon, and go this side with watermelon. And then bubble gum. It's probably very lazy blending this actually. <laughs> Very heavy handed, lazy blending. And then just need grape. 
uh, I'm just blowing that out and then the navy blue and we'll have that that side I'm just blowing that out blue heaven or oh, blue horizon this is I'm gonna have blue heaven so let's pull that out okay so then we've got this big section so i'm going to do that last i'm going to turn my book around just for ease of access for me i'm going to do this section here and then we'll finish off with that section put this up there because I want to try and recreate the one that I did so I'm going to do it here actually so we're going to have blue coming out here and then a purple And then our pink, which is bliss. But like I said, so long as you have a light and dark of each colour, blue, pink and purple, it doesn't matter what colours you use. And then we want ice cream around here. And then I want the light blue coming like this. And down here. And that's going to create a little point this way. Wait this way. That's going to travel round all the way up here and into that corner. So we'll bring some of that blue around here and then what was next? Purple. So this was quite a big section. So we can go up here. Draw that in where I want it to go. And that's going to come up here as well. And then I'll push that down. I'm going to have blue again next. And bring that back. I'm going to come up to that corner with this.
I'm going to bring tulip back and make that into a point there. Blue horizon. It's all about just literally thinking about the shape in your head and literally just keep making different shapes. Right, so now we're going to have a pink section. Honestly, it just looks messy till it's done. And then it's when it's done, it looks really good. Quite a big pink section. And look for centre section ice cream. And then this section. And we'll run the pink. It doesn't all have to be squiggly and squirrely. It can be. It looks terrible there. It's really annoying. Okay. And then I'm going to run pink up here I'm going to make it kind of wave and then blue is kind of going to come in a really small piece of blue And then pink again. Keeping that quite small. And then purple. We're going to have a big section here of purple. Going into a big section there. And then blue. Onto a little section of blue coming back. Just blending into that. I'm going to turn the corner ready for this now. And pink. Sharpen the pink. Oh, just snapped it off. <laughs> oh dear. That's me being an eager beaver that try to pull it out of the um, sharpness too quick. So I'm going to put a nice bend on it here and just bring it into that same point. And then tulip, I'll sharpen that as well. And the sharper your pencils are, the better. I'm bringing that into this point here as well. <sighs> and then, and then uh, well, blue. Oops, one blue. And I'm going to bring that blue out here. And then pink. And purple. And 
I don't want to make the blue make a bit of a funky shape here so I'm going to come quite wide with that and then finish it with pink in there and then this one I'm going to go pink I'm going to travel it straight over here like this and then I'm going to bring blue at the bottom and I'm going to pitch it like this and then the same with tulip And then ice cream can go in the bottom of there. And then what are we having? Purple again. And then ice cream can finish that off. This is meant to be swirling into here, so this part can be blue. That bit can be pink. And this bit can be purple. And then can go into ice cream against that black. And then I'm going to turn this pink here. I'm going to curl it in on itself. I'm going to use tulip. I'm going to follow that round. Well, I'm going to get quite a vigorous camera shake on here because I'm kind of making it, I'm quite being quite really heavy handed. And then blue heaven. Here. And here. And then I want blue this way. And come down into that blue there. And then tulip. And then back to pink. And we can have the uh, ice cream in the middle here. Okay, so let's now go back to the dark colours. <clears throat> so once again, sharp pencils. And I'm going to come in with watermelon along the edge here.
and then push it all together. Oops. Turn around here. I've tried to break the spine of the book, but because of where it is, and it's only a few pages in, it's, I've not been able to get it that flat. <laughs> so, it will have to stay how it is. I think that's why I'm struggling so much with it. Uh, I've got all the pink there. So, pink here. Same with on this side. Honestly, the work is worth the reward when it's done. So this can come all this side. But when you're doing this, just I know it's a feel like a waste of pencil. I'll just keep it really sharp so you don't go too wide because then it'll. You want them edges really, really sharp. And blend that out. But yes, when I did these, these was the first time I'd ever attempted them. So I was really on a high yesterday. I was like, woo! -hoo! But I was planning on doing one video yesterday and then another video today. But when it took me, how long it took me to do just them bits, I was like, oh, what am I doing that? I'll just blend that out and this is a bubble gum and back to watermelon in fact I'll just blend these out why I've got it why I've got bubble gum out Okay, and back here. And sometimes I elongate the edge like that, which helps it look like the liquid's flowing into another. I mean, you could always call this psychedelic as well. It's not just iridescent, but I think psychedelic's a bit out there back in the time now isn't it so i'm gonna double line this one Just one edge on here. Same one here. Go along this edge on this one. And then I've got this edge here. Okay. 
Yeah, back with bubble gum. I'm just blowing that out. And then I need grape. I'm going to come along this side with grape and blend that out. And because I'm only using two colours with this purple, I'll just blend that in. I won't need to go in with another colour. All the way up. Go up to this edge. Sharp my pencil because as you can see my line's getting really long. And I've just snapped that off as well. This is because I'm stressing now the length of the video. <laughs> this one I want a double lined one. I'm going to come up here and then back up this side. And blend these in. Blend it in up here. And on this side. I'm come in with a tulip and fill, just blend them in again. I mean, this is a big section, so I'm doing it all in one big chunk. So it probably seems like it's taking me forever, but it is a big section. Blend that out there. And then on here as well. I'm trying to see where I am here. Just 
I could throw myself off because I've lined the blue first before I've done the other colours earlier on in the section. Here. And then round here. Just like that. And then back with the tulip. And then, and then we've got navy blue. I'm going to go around and line all these out. I tend to put the blue around the pur against the purple because then it darkens the purple line up as well. And this is the one we're about to use um, three different blues for this one. I don't like that kind of bit what I've done there, if I'm being honest. I don't need to sharpen without breaking the end off. Into this one. Oops, I am being heavy handed though with these, they don't generally break this easy. I think once we get this blue in, that's when it all comes together. Just hate that section there, it's driving me up the wall. I'm going to come just along here and I'm going to make this all dark blue here. This side. Point back. I'm going to blend that out. This is a big section, so I might go all the way around with this one. Just 
Yeah, I'm back with Blue Horizon. And I'll blend that out. Some of these areas are so tiny though, I've just got to be careful that I'm not covering the hook because I want the lighter blue to appear through as well. We've just not done this side here with the purple. So I've got grape. It's stunning when you've done it. Absolutely stunning. This one I'm just going to put on this side. There you go. So the rest of this top corner, I'm just going to speed that up and finish it off in fast zone. Because I think you've heard a lot of me already. <laughs> so I'll be back as soon as I've finished that. Okay, so we're having it. I'm going to bring that into shot. Okay, and there you have it. That is my my battle of the iridescence so you've got your light side and your dark side and i'll be doing a lighter gray horse and a dark i don't know what i'll be doing with them horses i may do like a cream colored horse and a gray horse and then some dark clothes just so them back ones stand out we shall see and i'm gonna obviously i don't know what i'll do with the moon in the middle but i'll do something 
it's very bold and bright and i wanted it to merge i think i could have made it merge a bit better in the middle between each other um i probably should have made it kind of travel into the possibly i don't know but that's it it's done and that's been a long video so that's two days in one video so i hope you've enjoyed the iridescent series for day 12 and 13 I'm going to go and rest my little hands because they are killing me. <laughs> and I will see you on day 14. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye.